hope still asleep? <sighs> still? Don't you mean finally? Is she cutting another tooth? Yeah. Don't you just wish that you could take away that pain? Did you ever feel like oh, it? all the time. Still do. <laughs> you're still my baby girl, and I know you're exhausted. Hmm. <laughs> I know. Still wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. I keep thinking about Cole's. He starts his community service today, right? Does he have any idea what they're going to have him doing? Uh, no, he's not sure yet. I've just been thinking about everything that he's been through. You worried about him and trying to stay clean? No. No, Cole's really turned his life around. Yeah, you know what he has, and I'm so proud of him, and I'm proud of you, sweetheart. I'm proud of how you've handled all of this. I mean, you, you stuck to your guns, you know, when he was spinning out of control, and then you stuck by him when he was serious about, you know, cleaning his act up. It's great. I really love him. I know you do. And I know sometimes when you love somebody, it's really hard. I mean, it's, it's hard to forgive their mistakes. Like mother, like daughter, right? Uh-huh. I heard about you and Dad in the cabana. What's up with that? Oh, Todd, a word with you, please. Where did you get an idea like that, sweetheart? Okay, your dad told you, didn't he? No. No? He didn't. I overheard Aunt Dorian ripping into him about it. Oh, I'm just sorry you had to hear anything like that. Well, don't apologize to me for you having a sex life. Uh, I'm just surprised that it's with Dad. You guys uh, have been at each other's throats lately. It's complicated, well, sweetheart. Well, obviously. I mean, what trick did Dad have to pull this time? Well, he didn't. It, it, it was me. What? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to talk to you about this. Mom, I what? am an adult, remember? And if I have to live under the same roof as you and Dad, I have a right to know what's up. Okay. Well, what's up is that I got a little upset about what was starting up with your dad and Taya and what was ending with John and me. John didn't start out as, like, real, but I don't know. I just thought maybe it might end up being something, you know? I'm sorry. Mom. That's okay. You know, divorce is just tough no matter how you look at it. It's... Anyway, I was telling the story. Yeah. We were having that great family breakfast, you know. Mm -hmm. We were having a lot of fun, all of us together. And then Taya walks in. She's rubbing herself along her dad. I know, and I he saw was that. laughing. Yeah. Well, I didn't like it. And I just got a little bent out of shape about it. One thing led to another. And now you think I'm a green eye. No, monster. no, no. I don't yeah, think you that do. at all. No, I don't. R remember how tough of a time I was having deciding whether to give hope to Marcy? Yeah. And you said that if I changed my mind, you would be behind me 100%? I would. Well, listen, if you have changed your mind about that, then I will be behind you 100%. Just forget about what I feel, okay? So, is that what you really want? Anything there? I know, I just walked in. But don't let me interrupt you. You're not! Because what I was about to tell your daughter is what I want with her father is absolutely nothing, even if you were the last man on earth. Thank you very much. Hi. I hope you don't mind. I, I let myself in with the key Todd gave me. I'm going to go check on Hope. So I guess this means you're moving in. <laughs> Believe it or not, where are your bags? Oh, I didn't bring any bags. I just stopped by to, uh, return the key. Much as I think it would be a blast to share clothes and girl talk with this one Stop. over here, uh, I'm afraid I can't move in here. But thank you, Dorian. And thank you, Todd, for the invite. Wait a minute. Wait. Figure it out. I'll see you later.